Hello all, welcome back. In the previous video, we have discussed about how to create the PLSQL procedure to get the information of employee from two different tables. Now in this video, what I want to show you, if user does not provide any argument, then I want to display the information of all employee. And for that, you need to write the cursor. For example, here, if user is providing 7839, then I'm getting the information of king. And suppose if user is providing the information of, for example, 7902, then I'm getting the information of 4. But if user is not providing any argument over here, then I want to display the information of all employees. Here, I'm getting an error. So how to solve this? Let's see practically. By default argument, you can set over here, that is colon is equal to null. So here, the default value of ENO will be null. Now here we can write the condition, and the condition is what? If ENO is not null, then I want to do this. It means that if user is providing any particular argument, then I want to do this particular task. In else case, it means that if else if ENO is null, then what you want to do? So if ENO is null, then right now I just want to display one message and that is I want to display all the record. So I'm just writing over here that is dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. All records I want to display. So let me copy all this statement and let me paste over here in PLSQL. And you will get the message procedure is created. Now you can just taste, for example, execute get employee. If you provide the number, for example, 7839, then it will display the information of king. But suppose if you don't provide any argument over here, then it will display the message that is all records. Now, instead of all records message, I want to display the information of every employee that is exist in the EMP table. So whenever you want to retrieve the record more than one, for that you need to write the loop. And whenever you want to retrieve the more than one record from the table, for that particular task, you need to write the cursor. So here, I need to declare the cursor. So I'm just writing over here in create procedure. Here in declare section, you can write the cursor, name of the cursor. So name of my cursor is C1. Cursor C1 is now I want to write the same select statement, but I want to select the name, job, department name, salary, location, as well as I want to select the employee number also. From employee E, join department D on E dot department number equal to D dot department number. So cursor is created now. So it will retrieve all the record one by one. So now I need to write the loop over here in LSAFE. So I'm writing over here, that is for I in C1 loop. Here you can write and loop. Now I want to display the information of all employees. So let me copy all this statement. And here you can put inside the loop. But instead of displaying the information from variable, I will retrieve from the loop. So here, I have the initializer variable that is i, so I'm writing over here that is i dot e name. So it will retrieve the information from select close i dot job i dot salary i dot department name i dot location. Here, instead of employee information, I want to display the employee number, so I'm writing here. That is employee number and here you can write are paid and of 15 space and I want over here that is piping symbol single quote colon and here I want to concatenate I dot employee number also. So it will retry one by one information of every employee if employee number is null. It means that if user is not providing any argument, then it will display the information of all employee. You can copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL 
and you will get the message that is procedure is created. Now procedure is completed. You can execute this procedure. For example, execute get employee. And if you provide here 7839, then it will give the information of king. Now suppose if you provide here triple one, it means that the record is not available. It says record not found. But if you don't provide any argument, you will get the information of every employee. Here, you will get the information of each employee that is Black, Ward, here Martin, James, Allen, Turner, Adams, Ford, Scott, Smith, Johns, Miller, King, Clark. So, this procedure is returning me the information of all the employees so this is the way you can write cursor exception handling join all this thing together in a plsql procedure so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day